Possible export of Gripen aircraft to the Philippines faces scrutiny in the Swedish press. Kindly like and share the video, and subscribe to the channel. The possible export of the Jazz 39C and D Gripen aircraft to the Philippines is facing some scrutiny in the Swedish press. This after one of the largest news publications in Sweden, the Aftonbladet published an article about it recently. The original article is in the Swedish language and the translation by Google to English about it is not very good, but from what I can understand, the Aftonbladet was somehow leaked information from the Swedish armed forces about emails related to the export, but when they formally asked the government about it, they were informed that some of the emails had already been deleted. Again, this is just my understanding of the article based on the rough translation to English from Swedish. The emails involved Dan Olsen, the Deputy Director General of the Defense Material Administration of the Swedish government. Among the interesting things that Mr. Olsen reportedly wrote in his emails was that first, the Philippine Air Force reportedly in secret wanted to sign a contract for the Gripens this year, 2021. Olsen also reportedly wrote about including a logistics solution for the Philippines which involves the country of Thailand, the only operator of the Gripen in Southeast Asia as of now. He also wrote about training that will be provided by the manufacturer of the Gripen Saab AB and the government of Sweden. And he also wrote about possible loans from the government of Sweden to the Philippines for the sale of the aircraft. The most important part of the article for me though was about the decision to allow or not the export of the Gripen to the Philippines by Sweden's Export Control Council. Olsen reportedly revealed that the council was to have decided on that last October 13, 2021. The decision was not revealed, but Afton Bladet claims that their anonymous informants told them that the result was negative, or that the possible export was not allowed. These revelations by Afton Bladet is definitely a bit shocking, one wonders exactly who leaked the emails to them in the first place. Their article also tries to put the possible export in a negative light, as they even mentioned President Rodrigo Duterte's supposed human rights issues. At any rate, I hope that the governments of Sweden and the Philippines will provide official news about the possible export so we will know for sure what is happening about it. Thank you for watching the video, I invite you again to like and share it, and subscribe to the channel.